our website and inventory to provide you with an amazing shopping experience. Therefore, a portion of orders placed during June 13th may be experiencing an unexpected delay from the original shipping estimate provided. Mine ordered way before that. Hey, what is up, guys? It's Queenie Babe with Chicken Call Me Baby, and I'm back with another video. Today it's gonna be kind of like a rant slash uh, business review, not business, like clothing store review, mostly about their customer service, not about the clothing at all. I'm gonna do a whole separate video just about the clothing itself, but this is just about the customer service and my experience that I've had ordered from them because I think it's important that someone who's not sponsored, like me, talks about their experience with the brand so people aren't fooled by those people who are paid, one, to say good things, and two, the company's gonna make sure someone they sponsor doesn't have a bad experience. So they're not a very good example of what the avid, everyday, is that even the right word? I don't know, am I illiterate? Possibly. But like the everyday customer kind of experience they're gonna have regular people, people who are just shopping randomly, basic everyday, like I live in like a city, like I'm chill, normal life, things are cool, yeah, like eat, you know? Okay. So I decided to order from them, and boy, yeah. Boy. Yeah, boy, my experience was not anything like that. It was good. It wasn't even somewhat good. I mean, uh, I'll get into it, okay? But I didn't know if I even said the company, but I'm talking about Fashion Nova, which is pretty much everywhere, all over social media. Just what every single celebrity has talked about it. Um, Jordan Woods, I think Kylie Jenner's best friend. Kylie Jenner wears it. Literally every single female YouTuber has a haul called Fashion Nova haul. Like all of them, all, all of them have one or like every single Instagram famous person talks about it. So yeah, it's pretty much an unavoidable uh, um, thing that's all over social media now. So I decided, hey, I'm gonna test it out and I'm gonna order and see what happens. Cause I genuinely liked their clothing and I thought their clothing was pretty nice and the prices were fairly good and they were having a Memorial Day sale. So I was like, 30% off, already cheap things, like $5 a top, like sure, why not? So yeah, I'm gonna talk about my whole experience, but let's just get into it and not dilly-dally anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna be talking about my experience right from the beginning, from the day I ordered to the day it showed up at my house. And let me tell you, let me tell you. That period of time is not a fun time, and I was generally starting to get worried because I'm like, did I really just get scammed? Anyways, so let's go back almost exactly a month ago is when this began. May 28th, I needed some new clothes because I haven't bought any clothes pretty much since Black Friday and summer's here. I just finished school. I'm like, I'm gonna need clothes for summer and school for school for work and clothing that's nice for work as well. So I went to Fashion Nova's, I can't speak today. I went to Fashion Nova's website. They were having a Memorial Day 30% off everything sale. So I'm like, even better, things are on sale. So my mom did purchase all of these only because she buys me clothes if it's in large amounts for like long periods of time. And if I want something more expensive, that's like a special thing, like with Nike brand or you know what I mean, those kind of things, then I'll pay for myself. But not that it matters, I just wanna give that fact there, okay? So I was at school pretty much doing some shopping, found some things on the website, and um, I'll see if I can find a list of everything that I ordered and pictures, not that it matters that much, I'm doing a whole try and haul. And then I put them in my cart and did the 30% off and the whole order came to exactly, let me pull up the exact price. So the order came to a total of uh, 97.81 USD and I saved 41.91 in USD as well, which is an amazing price because I got 13 things for under 100 US dollars. Like that does not happen anywhere. So I'm like, wow, this started off great. Like I'm getting so many things, they're all good. I got like two pairs of pants and some nice tops and everything. And I'm like, this is great. Like I love Fashion Nova, like these prices. Like each shirt were like 597, like 497, like 397, like 397, 797. They were really good prices that I thought were like, had to be good, like, but we all know that things are too good to be true. They usually are. So I ordered whatever, got the confirmation. Oh, 26 is actually the day I placed the order. So, got the confirmation, whatever. Your order has been placed. We'll notify you when it's been shipped. Everything normal, okay? Then on the 28th, I get an email saying that my order has been shipped and that it's gonna start shipping from the 29th because the 28th was a Sunday. So the 29th is gonna be shipped. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. Like, yeah, I'm getting all my clothing, okay? Everything's good, no problems yet. And then I get another email that I was kind of like, what's going on? On May 30th, Fashion Nova order refund gift card receipt. 
There's something on my face now. Gift card receipt. So it looks like two of the items, um, it says a gift card has been delivered for the following items. Before this, I had never received any notification saying these things were out of stock. On the website, sometimes it says things are out of stock or says there's one left or something like that. But the items that I purchased these ones were fully in stock, didn't have any notification saying like there was few, they were limited or will let you know if when they're available kind of thing. So I purchased them because they went in my cart and I paid for them. And it's like, if something was out of stock, don't you think you would know before someone paid for it? And it's not even that, it's the fact that it says like refund gift card. This is the thing about the website, they don't give you back your money if something's not in stock. They give you a gift card to the website. And I know the return policy originally is that nothing is return, returnable, you get store credit, which I understood and I was okay with because these things weren't that expensive anyways. But if I never received an item and you give me a gift card, does that even make sense? Like, it's not my fault out of stock and I already paid for it and I didn't know it was out of stock. If I knew that, I wouldn't have purchased it. Don't give me a gift card, give me my money back. Like, you know what I mean? I'm hoping you guys agree with me because this made sense to me and I hope I'm not just crazy, like crazy bitch. Okay, so that was that. And the gift card was for 1116 USD, which wasn't that much. I was okay with this because I was planning to order from them again anyways, because if this was gonna be a good experience, I'm like, $11 back to the website, whatever. Like, it's chill, like, I don't care. 1116, whatever, okay? So then a few days, not even a few days, I think about a week goes by, because that was sent on May 30th, okay? Timeline. Ordered on May 26th, 28th shipping notification, 29th it was shipped, 30th got notification saying the thing wasn't available, okay? So, now let's go to the shipping page. So when it first shipped, you get a tracking number. And even now, when I click on track your shipment, it takes you to a website. Now, this website says on the 28th, data received shipment and transmit, trans, transit. And then on June 1st, it says parcel received. And that was June 1st, so not that much farther after the day it was shipped. Then same day, e-file uploaded on the first, still the same day, processed, order process ready for USPS, and then still the same day, parcel shipped. And then I got another notification on the same day, June 1st, in transit to UPS, Canada. Tracking number. So then I'm like, okay, let's check it. And the thing about this that really started to trigger me was that when I got the notifications, I checked back almost every few days just to see the progress. And then I stopped checking for a while because like I didn't want to be checking out because what's the point? I know things are shipping from the state. It takes a long time. But on their website, they list five to seven business days. I realized this is just a guesstimate and this just isn't like a guess. But like five to seven days is a very short amount of time to compare to what it actually turned out to be. So that happened and I checked the uh, like notifications and stuff like that and then it gets more weird because about a week and a half passed let me go find the exact email then on june 9th it's been about almost exactly two weeks since i ordered it and i was like oh it's still not come like that's weird like, let me check the information and then the same information i just showed you about the stuff that was like june 1st and whatever had an updated and this is nine days eight days after that was originally placed so i'm like what's going on like what's happening right now and then i go to ups tracking order process ready for you ups schedule delivery unavailable unavailable so it says the service and where it's going and the wait and it still said like delivery date unavailable and i'm like what's going on like what's what's happening right now like i can't understand so then I email UPS because I'm thinking, oh, maybe the tracking information wasn't correct. Like maybe something's happening. So let me just email UPS and see what they say. So here's what UPS said. Because I basically said to them, like, I don't have the original email because like on this website where you fill out those things, I basically said like, my package shipped a while ago and your website has tracking information available but I just want to know where my package is because I was genuinely curious because if I can order stuff, I want it. So then they say, Dear Debbie, thank you for contacting us. I understand how important it is you to determine the current status of your shipment. Our records indicate that bill information received for this tracking number on 6th of, no, 1st of June. Our system does not show that this package was physically picked up from the shipper's location. Okay. The order process ready for UPS tracking scan indicates that UPS has received electronic transmission of package data from the shipper. If it is confirmed that the package was picked up and the scheduled delivery date for this shipment has now passed. 
please have your shipper contact us to have it to initiate further investigation, okay? That's what UPS sent me. They emailed me back, guess how fast it was? Less than an hour, they responded me with that. So I was like, yo, like, what's going on now? It's been two weeks, shipping region hasn't updated, and they're coming to the updated. So then I start going to their Instagram page. Cause this is when I start getting like curious to curious as to other people's like experience with shipping and like buying from Fashion Nova. Here's something they do that nobody notices. They delete their bad messages. I'll show examples. Here are some bad comments that people have left. You know what they decided to do? They deleted them. And even I commented, like, saying about my experience just because I want to see their reaction and what they would do. And there's like, email us. And I did email them before that. And I was waiting for a while. So I just commented to see what happened and see if they actually did delete messages, which they did. I commented something bad and they're like, no, we can't have anyone knowing that our service isn't amazing. So they deleted it. And there's a bunch of other people who have had terrible experience with Fashion Nova. Their stuff shows up ripped. The stuff shows up not what it's supposed to be. They never get their money back and they're fighting for a long period of time. So then I started to get really nervous. Cause if you start seeing, cause I did do research before I purchased from them and I couldn't find anything on the internet that said bad things about them. Probably because they made sure there was no bad things about them on the internet. Like they don't have Twitter because they can't control comments. Like that's why they don't have a Twitter. They only have an Instagram because they can turn off comments and delete them. On Twitter, if someone tweets you about a bad experience, they can't delete it. So they're smart for that reason, but terrible and everything else, okay? So then I'm like, yo, did I just get scammed? Because like, I'm not about that. Like what's going on? Like I need my money back, okay? And I guess like I got a little bit heated, okay? And I started emailing Fashion Nova. <laughs> Let's just say, I emailed them quite a few times. Let me open up all these threads. Okay, so I just started off by saying, I placed an order and received initial shipping email over two weeks ago, and the tracking information is not updated in two weeks. I would like to know immediately where my package is. I do not get my, if I do not get my products, I do not want store credit, I want a full refund. Because they probably would have given me store credit, and like, are you stupid? Like, you're getting me refund for things I never bought. I already expressed my opinion on that. And then they responded, Hey Nova babe, thanks for choosing Fashion Nova. Their response to your excitingly new design website has been overwhelming. Our terms, blah, 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 random information. Based on the current volume, you can generally get a reply, expect a reply within one business days. Emails are responded in order to the what they are received, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is um, random information. Basically, they send you an email telling you that they received your email and that to even to continue speaking with them you have to respond to the email like it's an automated email and this is the thing they purposely hide the fact that you have to do this like it's not blatant like please reply to this so we will keep talking to you it's like a bunch of random information that people of course aren't going to read and it says please reply to this or we won't respond to you basically so when people are waiting for three weeks for their messages it's because they don't know that it's actually in line of being like looked at, okay? But I saw that on Instagram, people were talking about that, so I messaged them again after that. And then they were like, let me scroll this off, my fam. Yeah, so I got that one, and then I got a second one from them the same day. I don't know, maybe they have multiple um, automated emails, because I got these two like right after each other. And this is really condescending. They started off with saying, Hey Nova babe, thanks for choosing Fashion Nova. You probably thought this was the fastest customer service ever. Alas, this is just an automated message to let you know we've received your email. Can't wait to answer it. So you sent me all you sent me an automated email to tell me that you're not good customer service. Are you shading yourself? Because I think you're doing a pretty good job of the gate. And then I email again. Cause I'm like, what just happened? Like, why am I getting automated emails? I'm like, hi, I placed an order on May 26th from your company and it said it shipped on the 29th. And it has been over two weeks and the website claims it's five to seven day shipping. I contact my carrier and they said they have not ever received the package. I would like to know immediately where my package is and when I'll be receiving it. The tracking is not updated in over seven days. I'm very upset and if this does not get resolved, I plan not to order from here ever again. It will be sure to speak about my experience. Okay, I just threw that little thing in there because I was a little heated and I'm like, I'm gonna expose, I basically said, I'm gonna expose you bitches because you, you better get in line. Not that I think I'm anyone. This is just me being, this is how I talk to everyone even if I was just like, you know. Okay, so 
And that happened. So that went on for a while. I kept sending them emails. I kept getting automated emails. Half of these aren't really important. They're just a bunch of automated emails. I basically spam them a ton of times. I'll just put a screen of all the messages I sent them so you can understand how many I sent. Because I wanted to make sure they got a message that like I need my stuff. So I sent them another message hoping they'd reply faster because that one took too long. I'm a lazy bitch. You get it. Not lazy. I'm like impatient. Okay. So then I said, I'm waiting on a package that has yet to arrive and claims to have been shipped, but the shipping information is not updated in over nine days, and I contacted my, no so, my local service and they have never received it. Then I sent another one saying, my order is blank, blank, blank. I would like a refund as soon as possible the items that were not shipped, the tunic and the dream Marcel top, where it was listed that two of the items that I purchased were in stock, and but I received an email saying they're no longer available after I'd already paid for them. It does not make sense to only issue store credit if I've never received the items as if it's my fault that these items were sold out and not in stock and I was not notified before they were shipped. So finally, I get a response. Dear Debbie, hey love, please allow 710 business days for the amount to post to your account, although most refunds are completely processed by the bank within two to five days. I haven't checked yet, so I don't know if that's true or not. Please know that the hold place on the funds is your financial institution, whatever. Thank you for shopping with Fashion Nova, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, and then... Pretty much started copying and pasting the same messages just so I could get as many out to them so they could see my thing and give me back my fucking money. Then they're like, Dear Debbie, our serious apologies for the inconvenience. While the estimated time frame for international shipping is 6 to 10 days, some packages can take up to 30 days depending on customs. So why do you list on your website 5 to 7 days? if you have an estimation of up to 30 days from customs. And I know they don't want control customs, but why put out the false idea that it's five to seven days, at least say like five to seven days depending on your customs in brackets. So then it's like, they're not lying, they're being realistic. Or even five to 13, five to 15 days, you have a better explanation. Don't put five to seven days if it's not ever gonna be five to seven days. Like, huh. Can we know that Fashion Nova and USPS don't long have control over how long customs deems fit to hold the package. Additionally, some countries apply tariffs after the package is accepted there. We suggest check with your local post, whatever, whatever. Um, basically. So I stopped emailing them after that because I'm like, how many times? Cause I keep emailing them. Like how many times can I keep emailing them? Okay. But then it doesn't stop there, huh? I thought it was finished there. I'm like, let's just see what happens next week. Uh-huh, no. I emailed them again. Cause you know what happened again? Another one of my items weren't available. I get a, another email saying the item that you have purchased is not available. Two weeks after I ordered, they sent me another two, almost two and a half weeks after the order was placed, I get a notification saying the item is not available. Two weeks. 14 days after I place the order, they tell me, hey, the thing you ordered isn't available, but we're gonna wait to tell you that's the latest time possible. Like, are you, are you, you're kidding me. Like, you're kidding me. Like, you're not serious that, like, two weeks after I place an order, you just realized that's dog. And that's when I realized, Either they're scanning me or something really fucking shitty is going on here. Like this shifty stuff. Then I start spamming them again. And then I'm like, I placed an order and received the initial shipping email over two weeks ago. Tracking is not updated in two weeks. I'd like to know immediately where my thing is. Um, same thing. Email them, spam them, email them. Uh, I'm not going to read all this. I'll put the screenshots in because it's just too much to read. This is the one that was really angry. I cannot believe this is the second time, two weeks after my order shipped, I'm receiving another email that more of my items I order are not available and that it is being sent to a gift card. First of all, my order was claimed to have been shipped over two weeks ago and I would expect your company to realize that an item, a customer order wasn't available when it was so-called shipped two weeks ago. So now I'm beginning to believe that it was never shipped at all. Secondly, you claim that the other items refunded me when it wasn't available, when it's sent me a gift card. So I expect the your 10 top mouth top to be refunded as well. I do not want a gift card because I do not plan to shop from the company again after this terribly lengthy and difficult experience. Thirdly, my last six emails that 
you would be making sure the rest of my order goes smoothly, but this is unreasonable. I just want a resolution to these issues and remember that the remainder of this order goes smoothly. Basically, thank you for calling Fashion Nova. I do see that order number blank was refunded for these three items that a gift card was issued for you. Kind regards, Lee. And then I basically sent in like angry letters. I do not want a gift card. Like I was triggered to the max, like to the max. I said, I demand a refund. I never received these items and now you're taking my money and forcing me to accept the gift card I do not want. A refund to my original form of payment is expected. Cause like, gift card? Why would I want to shop from here and wait three weeks to even get something from your company, okay? So these emails went on for a while and then they, it basically resolved with them saying that they're going to refund me. So whatever, okay? That was one part. of That was the emails alone, okay? Now let's go back to the emails I got. This was another thing that was very triggering about the experience, okay? Okay. On the same day those emails began, the reason I started sending them was because that day on June 9th, I got another email saying, your order has just shipped. June 9th, which is two weeks after I was in this order, and I got a shipping confirmation. They sent me another one saying your order has just shipped. Two weeks after the original purchase, the order has just shipped. Two weeks, and I'm like, you're joking, right? What? What? What do you mean? Two weeks after my order just shipped. Why did I get a confirmation three days, like, three days after I ordered that it shipped if it didn't actually. Like there's something wrong with your system because that's annoying because if some, a customer expects someone to come, of course you're gonna be looking out for it and you're gonna be expecting it and if something goes wrong, you're gonna think problems. If they never sent me that shipping confirmation, I wouldn't think anything of it. Although I think after two weeks of something not shipping, I would think I got scammed. But at least then I would have an expectation that it's coming anytime soon. But for two weeks later, you send me another confirmation saying that I'm ordered to ship, it's triggering. So then I'm like, you're joking. So I went to this tracking information, okay? And then this one on June 12th is like parcel received. Eval uploaded order process ready for UP, USPS, same 12th um, and transit to USP, UPS Canada. And that was on June 12th. So then on June 16th, the items finally show up to my house and I get them. And uh, the clothing part of it is a different story. This was just about their customer service. And the things I do have to say about their customer service is um, one, not very, mm, I mean, mm, it was not, I spammed them. I don't know what would happen if I didn't know that they didn't respond to emails quickly and if I only sent them one email. Who knows, it might have still been waiting. But as far as people's experiences, their company customer service is not known to be good at all or helpful and that some of the things they do are a bit shady and shifty. Because um, gift cards, no. Refunds are refunds. Money is money. You do not take people's money. Like, that's... You do not mess with people's money. If they bought some from you, you give them back their phone money. Like, I don't, like, I don't mess around with people. Like, companies that, like, don't give back people's money. Like, that's risky to me. And even when online things say we don't accept refunds or something like that, I immediately get, like, turned off from it. Because an online company who doesn't accept refunds, like, they know you haven't tried it on. So... That's just my opinion. Overall, my experience was hell, <laughs> to put it to shortest. I'm not slandering the company, even though it sounds like that. I'm literally talking about my personal experience. This is literally factual. I showed you the proof of everything I've said. Everything I said is on the screen, like you've seen it. Like I'm not lying. This is not to loot company to lose business. This is me just telling you about my experience from Fashion Nova that there's no bad, like you need to understand because there's no bad experiences on YouTube. And I'm like, wow, a company that's perfect, too good to be true. And it was. So I'm here to tell you that it isn't as good as you think it is and that there are problems with it, okay? And that you should be aware when buying something off of like those Instagram popular companies that things can go wrong and those people are paid to say good things and basically are guaranteed to have good experiences. So it's not fair or good to base off what your expectations off what's happening for them because I promise you it most likely won't be like that but yeah who that is all i have for you guys today um i'm gonna be talking about the clothing itself this is not a place to talk about the clothing um spoiler alert even though there's the customer service is shit and the whole experience was shit the clothing actually is pretty nice i won't lie but that's for another summer haul. Oh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this ranty type video. I did enjoy 
being able to talk about a company that people praise and basically showing you is not as good as you think. I enjoy this. I like exposing. Okay. Oh God, I'm becoming that person. That's not what I mean. Like, I think it's fun for me to try out companies and I'll have a bad experience so you guys don't have to. So if there's another Instagram company that you guys like want me to order from or buy something from, I'm gonna buy less next time. I've learned my lesson. I'm gonna buy less so it, the loss money isn't as much because I lost $100 versus losing like $12. Of course, it's still money, but at least like it'll be easy to remake it kind of thing. Um, let me know in the comments what companies and I'll look into them and I might start doing this not super regularly because this is stressful and it hurts my head and makes me sad. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Sorry this is long as hell and if you stay till the end, I love you. Keep smiling and shining and remember you don't need a crown of royalty. Bye! <laughs>